I'm here at Draper, Utah, about 25 minutes southwest of Salt Lake City. And you know, one of the things I always tell you on Triple D is a joint's got to have a character, it's got to have a story, and it's got to have real food for real people. And this joint's got all three. Wait till you hear the story. This is Sauce Boss Southern Kitchen. Catfish, okra in the window. Good, solid Southern food. Amazing flavor in every single bite. You need one fried green tomato. We have to go out of the state to get Southern food, so this is kind of a hidden treasure. But chef and owner Julius Thompson had to travel a tough road before finding reward in this culinary gem. I grew up in homeless shelters on the street, crack houses, same with different family members. Unfortunately, a lot of them were addicted to drugs. They always had crack, and as a kid, I thought it was a pearl. The way they cherished it, the way they gave it all this attention. During COVID, I wrote my autobiography. Bro, that's awesome. So I decided to name my book Pearls. As the pearls get to the center, they start to decay, because that's what drugs do, they, they decay you. Oh, it gives me goosebumps, man. As I got older, I decided I should do something I love to do, which is cook, take my pain, and turn it into something palatable for other people when they visit my restaurant. Fried chicken, collard greens, golden splendor, table nine. I love the fried chicken. It's absolutely delicious. Collard greens, that's really hard to find in Utah. You've got the bacon that just adds even more to it. What are we making today? The fried chicken, okay, all-purpose flour, Lemon pepper, garlic salt, seasoning salt, parsley, chili powder, and rosemary. A lot of rosemary from fried chicken. Sounding kind of doubtful. It is one of those polarizing herbs. I can agree with you on that. So we got drums and thighs. Into the dredge. We dredge it in a mixture of egg and milk. I'm back in the seasoned flour. And then we're going to let this rest for how long, chef? About six hours to overnight, and then drop it in the 350 degree fryer for eight minutes. Now we're gonna make our collard greens. So we got some bacon. That's a lot of bacon. Yeah, we get the whole bellies in from a place in Salt Lake and we uh, cube it up how we want it. Do you have a smoker here? It's a room for a smoker. Hey, where's my Camp Chef guys? Marketing director for Camp Chef. How you doing? Camp Chef is the bomb. We'll get you a little smoker that's gonna sit right there. Then you can make your own bacon. Then you can smoke your own ribs, smoke your own chops. No, I do a lot I... of grilling. I've only smoked one time. You need a smoking buddy is what you well, need. Bacon's rendered down. Now we add our onion garlic puree. Stir that in, that goes in the water. Boiling water, ready to go. Exactly. Salt, pepper, brown sugar, butter, and red wine vinegar. Once it starts boiling, we add the greens to it. How long are you gonna let those go? Two and a half, three hours. All right, we're gonna do the mac and cheese. What's in the cheese sauce? I saute some onion garlic puree, salt and pepper. I add it to the heavy cream, Parmesan cheese, and then cheddar cheese. We add it to the pan, and once the cheese sauce is hot, we add the pasta to it. Pre-cooked? Yeah. The pasta is gonna heat up in the cheese sauce. And finish. Next up? Maple hot sauce. Butter, brown sugar, some maple syrup and a hot sauce. I'll have a shot of that. We let it come to a boil for about five minutes, and then we bottle it. All right, we good to go? Got our thigh. It's a pterodactyl thigh. <laughs> Mac and cheese. Yeah, we call it the golden splendor. Collard greens, maple hot sauce. I don't know where to start. Here we go to greens. Dynamite. Tender, a lot of vinegar, but not too much. A lot of sugar, but not too much. But really good green, man. Delicious. The pasta should have some texture. I don't want just this cheese and some other matter. A cheddar milkshake. Exactly. I'm a thigh guy. This is as big as my head. You've built so much flavor all the way through this. Crunchy, juicy chicken. That maple brown sugar hot sauce, that's legit. Delicious. Well done, chef. Thank you. I got four fried chicken up. It's almost like he takes stuffing and just wraps it around the chicken, just packed full of flavor. After three kids obsessed with mac and cheese, I thought it ruined me. But coming here, it's made me a believer in it again. The maple honey hot sauce just made the food taste that much better. 